Yo, what is up everybody? It's Boy Bursa G back here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here to talk about something a little bit different. Not so far apart from SH Figure Arts in terms of recent video topics. Now, if you didn't already see, I, I made a video talking about things that SH Figure Arts hadn't released MCU wise. One of the most main focal points that I was talking about is the Winter Soldier, considering their other previous Buckies and newer Buckies are not necessarily my cup of tea. Um, and I just think that this this guy right here that you're seeing is like one of the best looks he's had, in my opinion, so far in the MCU. I, I really enjoy this look and design right here. Um, and it's crazy that five days later after I posted that video, here, here Mayfix is coming to the rescue. And we're just quickly going to look at these pictures and kind of just talk about it. I'm trying to keep this video short. Now, quick thing on note. Don't know why they would randomly choose to do Captain America, the Winter Soldier film for figures right now. But let's just say it's probably due to Captain America being popular, them not having a Bucky figure and this being the best Bucky figure or best Bucky design to choose out of the current ones he has the MCU to do. I, I think that most people would agree that this one probably is the one that they wanted first. If we're being honest, if they want to do a classic Bucky, by all means, they'll, they'll do it. But MCU wise, I think this was the first and best option that they they came up with. And I'm glad. Now, one thing I will hope for, probably not going to happen. Maybe a little bit of die cast in that arm. It'd be really cool. Um, Iron Man, you know, the endgame Iron Man that released last year has, I think, a little bit of die cast in there. So it was really cool. I don't know if they'll do that with his arm. It might just be regular, like, PVC, plastic, whatnot, but it would be nice. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Uh, but quickly, we'll just go over it. I'll say it now because I looked at it. I don't think he's coming with any guns. I think it's just the three knives and the shield and three heads. Not a bad package, but most certainly they could have put a gun in there, a pistol or... A rifle or something but it's 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 whatever i guess they just are expecting people to kind of buy that fodder on their own and it is what it is so going through them this looks okay i'm not necessarily super impressed by it not necessarily disappointed by it i think there's a good in between there's a good close-up down here i think yeah uh, they got the stubble I don't know what it is. There's something here about his face. Maybe it's that it looks like too young. It doesn't look like he has like, like an, he's aged, I guess. I'm looking for him to look like he may have aged or something. I don't know. Um, but it's kind of the same thing I was going to say about Steve's is that it looks like, I don't know, super young or something. Uh, if you notice what I'm trying to like point out, definitely say it in the comments because there's just something there that doesn't look off doesn't look bad but you can tell like maybe a tweak here or there and they've got it right but other than that i mean they're both great uh, i'm not sure what this is attributing to if it's just an extra helmet that he carries similar to like how they give uh spider-man an extra mask to hold in his hand right and some of those spider-man released figures could be uh, i was hoping for a second that maybe you could actually swap these uh, heads and just kind of put it on there, but that that probably is not the case. You are going to get two shields with him and three heads, nothing else. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be interchangeable with other Captain America figures. I would hope so, uh, but that, anyways, it's pretty cool. I mean, it, it probably won't cost that much. We don't have any uh, official prices yet, as far as I know. No release date. Um, but we do have pre-order date, kind of, for Bucky. So last I checked, uh, Paternia on Twitter said, tomorrow. Now, at the time of this video, it is Sunday, still, for me. So that could mean Monday. For them, could mean Tuesday. If I see another tweet or anything kind of confirming when the day is, time frame that we'll see it, I'll make a community post. So keep out for community posts. That's kind of where like fast news goes to. But anyways, yeah, 
I want to keep this video short. Don't want to take too much of your time. So overall, just got to say they're banging it out. Looks really great. I'm excited because this right here, these two looks phenomenal. Definitely will be picking this guy up. And there you go. Three knives and a, and a shield. But yeah, it, they both look great. I'm excited. And I hope Mafex kind of does this more with kind of giving us uh, figures kind of randomly from different MCU movies. I do hope somebody does a good Kang figure, though, because Kang definitely deserves it. And maybe they'll do something for Multiverse of Madness. I think Multiverse of Madness has not like reached its full potential in terms of figures. So that's one thing I hope that gets done eventually by somebody. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys kind of are enjoying the figure being announced. Hope you guys are going to pick it up. Let me know if, what you guys think about it overall in the comments. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.